Push the tempo, push the tempo, push the tempo, push the tempo. The entire race, or workout session, lasts about 20 minutes. The problem gives the biker's velocity as negative 1 divided by 400 times x minus 8 cubed miles per minute. To find the total distance the biker traveled, you take the integral from 0 to 20 of the absolute value of the given function, because distance is always positive, which ends up being 15.5 miles. For the biker's displacement, you take the integral from 0 to 20 again, but without the absolute value because you are solving for the final position in relation to the starting point. The displacement is negative 10.4 miles, which means that the biker ends up 10.4 miles behind the starting point. Looking at the graph, we can see she changes direction as a line crosses the x-axis, and the area under the curve on the negative side is greater than that of the positive side, giving her a negative displacement. If the biker burns about 50 calories per mile and travels a total of 15.5 miles, she burns a total of 775 calories. The runner's velocity is given as 1 half sine 1 fifth x miles per minute. For the distance again, you take the integral from 0 to 20 of the absolute value of the velocity function, which gives the runner a total distance of 5.9 miles. The displacement is the integral from 0 to 20 of the function, which is 4.1 miles. Since the displacement is positive, the runner is still in front of the starting point. The graph of the runner's velocity shows that, shows that she turns around just before the 20 minutes is up, which is why her displacement is less than her total distance. The runner burns 100 calories per mile and runs a total of 5.9 miles, so she ends up burning 590 calories. The biker burned less calories per mile, but covered many more miles than the runner, and ended up burning almost 200 more calories than the runner. <laughs> 